Hey, what's up everybody? Chris here. So today I wanted to go over how to run uh, Alpacalora on Windows. So I got a lot of comments on the last video, which were kind of talking about like, hey, this is great, but I'm getting these errors in Windows. How do I run this on Windows? So I just thought I'd go through the process of uh, what I did to make it run on Windows and we'll get right into it. So first things first, we do need to clone the repository. So we can just do that by grabbing the HTTPS address. So we'll head over to our terminal. And once we're here, we're just gonna go ahead and uh, run the git clone. So that's easy enough. Once it's finished running, we can CD into the directory. And then uh, what we need to do next is run the build command, which is docker build dash T alpaca Laura dot. So let's run that now. Okay, so now that that's done building, uh, for me, it went pretty quick because I already had it cached. So when you first do this, it's going to take quite a long time, probably somewhere between seven to 10 minutes. Uh, but now that it's built, we can use the run command, which is uh, found on the repository. So if I swap back to the repo for a second. Now, one thing we're going to want to do if you're in PowerShell is you're going to want to put this into some kind of editor so that you can put it all onto the same line. So let's do that now. So I'll just grab my notepad plus plus, and I will make sure that this command is all on the same line. Now that it's all on the same line, we can go ahead and copy this. We can head over to our terminal and paste it in and press enter, which will run it. So uh, the first time you run this, it's gonna take a really long time. It has to download all of the information to your cache, which is just gonna take a long time. Uh, there's 33, uh, checkpoint shards and each of them are 450 ish megabytes uh, once you have it in your cache though it's not so bad since you're just loading it from the checkpoint now we can see this is running and when we see it's running we can head back over to our browser and we can navigate to localhost so now that we see that's running we can head to our browser and we can just enter localhost 7860 that's the default port mappings and we can start using it. So let's just put an instruction. Uh, the instruction is going to be, you are an expert on animals. And then our input is going to be, what is an alpaca? Which is kind of the standard alpaca prompt, right? So, okay. So as you can see, that ran successfully. Uh, we were able to generate this prompt and it looks pretty good, which is pretty exciting. Now, I want to go into a few things that I think might be tripping people up through this process. So if all you wanted to do was see how to run it, there you go. That's the video. Thanks for watching. Please like and comment and subscribe. Uh, but if you're running into issues, I'm going to give you exactly my setup so that you can see uh, kind of exactly what I have. And then you can make sure that you are basically at the same thing. Now, to be clear, I am running this on GPU. If you want to run it on CPU, uh, there are a number of options you can do to use that. So something like llama.cpp, or that's the uh, llama C++ project. And I'll make a video on that as well. But if you want to run it on your local machine using this process, we're going to want to make sure we have a GPU. So I'm just going to run through some basic stuff here about my setup. So this is my uh, the output for NVIDIA SMI for me. Um, and I'm on driver 522.25, CUDA version 11.8. Uh, the model, while it's loaded and generating prompts, was taking up about 13.25-ish uh, gigs of uh, memory. So you're not going to be able to do this on a 12 gig card out of the box. You'll need to make sure that you have at least, uh, you know, 15, 16 gigabytes of, uh, of DRAM. So that's great. And we love that. But... What about the rest of the settings? So let's pop back to the terminal here and see what the rest of the settings look like. So first things first, you really wanna make sure that you're on this Ubuntu instance. I'm seeing some comments that are talking about not having the cache, and it might be the case that you're not, you don't have a Ubuntu uh, distribution installed. You can use the command WSL dash dash install dash D Ubuntu dash 18.04. Once you've gone ahead and you've uh, done that, so you've installed the, if I, if I try to do this, to be clear, it's not going to work because I already have it. 
But once you install that Ubuntu uh, 18.04, it's running and you're happy about that. So that's great. If you've already got your Ubuntu instance installed, that's great. You could use the WSL space dash L space dash V to check and make sure that you're on it. If you aren't toggled to a uh, Ubuntu instance already, there's a command for that. And the command is going to be this WSL dash dash set dash version, and then whatever version of WSL you want to set it to. Perfect. Another thing that you want to make sure of is that you're on WSL 2 instead of WSL 1. So we can do that with the following command, which is WSL space dash dash set dash default dash version space 2. So that's going to set our default version to 2, which is fantastic. And then we're also going to want to make sure that we use the WSL space dash dash update command to ensure that we're totally up to date. Once you've done that, Another thing that might be hampering your progress is you'll want to make sure you head to your Docker desktop and ensure that you're on the WSL-based engine instead of the Hyper-V backend. And we'll also want to make sure in, this is again in settings, then resources, then WSL integration, that you enable integration with my default WSL distro. Once you've done that, you can click apply and restart. Then I'm going to recommend that you shut down Docker Desktop and you restart your computer. Once your computer comes back up, you should be set to go. Okay, so I'm just going to go over what we just talked about, but uh, in a kind of high level sense. So first things first, you're going to want to make sure that you have your WSL2 set to default version 2 and that you're up to date. You can use these commands to do that. I'll put these this all in the uh, description. Secondly, you're going to have to make sure that you're on a Ubuntu distro, and you can do that by using these two commands together. Uh, thirdly, for the GPU requirements, if you don't have a card that has that, you know, 15 to 16 gigabytes of memory, then I'll be releasing a video in the next couple days that talks about how we can actually get this running on CPU. Inference is going to be slower, but it will work. And that's great. Next, you'll have to make sure that you're on the right CUDA version, 11.8. You'll also want to make sure that you have your GPU drivers up to date. Uh, you can do that through the NVIDIA tool or, or their website or GeForce Experience or whatever you use to make sure your graphics card drivers are up to date. And once you have everything like that done, you'll find that you can use the tool and it works like a dream. Just to be clear, I did this on Windows 11 as well. Uh, I'll put that in the requirements. If you run into troubles, please hit me up in the comments. And uh, I hope this works for you and you can enjoy Alpaca Laura on your Windows machine as well as any other machines that you have. All right, have a great day. Uh, and if you've liked the video, uh, like, comment, and subscribe. All right, thanks so much.